I received a letter with a gift from my brother Adam. As a boy, Adam dreamed of becoming a captain with his own ship and a loyal crew. He grew up to live his dream, conquering the sea as the captain of his ship. But today, we finally get to see each other for the first time in years. I can't wait to get to Sunshine Island, where Adam and I will celebrate Neptune Day together. Amber? Hi, I'm Rick, Captain Adam's first mate. He's sorry he couldn't meet you in person, but he was summoned to the island. He asked me to wait for you and take you to town for the celebration. Neptune Day is our island's most important holiday. Everyone gathers to honor the alliance between humans and sea dwellers. We should hurry or we'll miss the beginning. Oh no, my boat! The wind must have run it into the pier. Please ring the bell for the ferry to the island while I get my things out of the water. Oh, is the bell broken? There should be a new one in the chest. That's it. Thanks for your help, Amber. The ferry is on its way, and not a moment too soon. The celebration will begin any minute. I managed to recover my things from the water, including a gift from Captain Adam. He said it was important, and I should hand it to you personally. to me. Help! Is this a magical amulet? It looks like it broke in the crash, but hopefully the second part is nearby. Greetings. I am Morgana, the Keeper of Legends of Sunshine Island. I've served your brother, Adam, ever since he saved me. Sunshine Island is cursed, but only the town's residents were affected, so you were spared. Everyone else will face the same fate as Rick, 
if not worse. According to legend, only magic pearls can break the curse. Bring me one, and I will help you. You deserve to know the truth. According to tradition, once a year, on this day, the townspeople present offerings to Neptune, the Lord of the Sea. In return, he calmed the raging sea and blessed the island with a bountiful fishing season. This has gone on for many, many years. Neptune would send his mermaid daughters to the island to collect the offerings until the day that one of them, Erin, did not come home. Erin's sisters hatched a plan to get revenge for her death, and today, they've sprung that plan. A mermaid emerged from the water during the ceremony and accepted the gifts on Neptune's behalf, but she also brought a gift in return. Her song cast a curse on the island. It turned the townspeople into salt statues, and those she blamed for Erin's death became monsters. Unfortunately, my magic isn't strong enough to completely undo the curse, but I have enough magic dust left to help you dispel the curse on the sailor. Please take it. He turned into a salt statue? What terrible magic could do this? What was that? Where did this magic come from? I, I don't understand. We'd better hurry back to town. Maybe we can find out more about the spell there. Our revenge is at hand. The people of Sunshine Island must be punished for their misdeeds. I can't believe a mermaid attacked us. We've lived in peace ever since King Charles and Neptune made their deal. They've always been kind to us. I'll look around to see if anyone is hurt. You'd better head into town. Adam said he'd meet you in the main square. You'll be safer away from the water anyway. Get over here! Admiral Morgan was famous for his courage, to his own downfall. One day the fishermen found that the fish had vanished from the island shores, so the king gathered his captains for an important voyage. Led by Admiral Morgan, they sailed into the open sea to find Neptune and make a deal with him. They were about to give up and turn back, when they heard a mermaid's beautiful song rise over the waves. Morgan steered the ship toward it, but a sudden storm broke out and they began to sink. The youngest of Neptune's daughters, Erin, came to their aid just in time and pulled every sailor safely ashore. Erin became friends with the people of Sunshine Island, 
and persuaded Neptune to make a deal with them. She promised her father that she would only visit the humans during the ceremony. But one day, Erin broke that promise and was never seen again. Admiral Morgan was the first victim of the mermaid's curse, as Erin's sisters blamed him for undertaking the voyage that led to her meeting the humans in the first place. Please take it. My... my mind is so foggy. I couldn't control myself. Are you Adam's sister? The curse isn't completely gone, but at least I can think again, thanks to you. I remember the mermaid singing at the beginning of the celebration. She said that we had killed their sister and taken what was most precious to them, and in return, they would take everything that the guilty held dear to them. Then everyone turned to salt, but I became a monster and lost control. The mermaids really did take what was dear to me. My spyglass is my lucky charm, and it's been with me for years, but I dropped it when the curse hit me. I think it fell into a souvenir boat. Please, find it for me.
My spyglass might be in the sinking boat. Thank you. I can't believe you managed to dispel the curse from me. When the mermaid began to sing, I ordered the captains to take everyone they could to the town hall, so Adam must be with them. I'll go to the pier and make sure no ships attempt to dock. I can't let anyone else get hurt. You should find Adam. Here, take this. It will help you open the gate in front of the town hall. King Charles, you'll pay for killing our sister.
Get over here. King Charles was famous for his sincerity and desire to be a righteous king to his people. King Charles himself was the last person Irene rescued from the fateful shipwreck. When he opened his eyes, Irene realized that it was love at first sight, and nothing else mattered to her but him. So Irene took a drastic step. She turned to the sea witch and begged her for a chance to walk on land. She was willing to give anything to live among humans. The sea witch agreed. With her new legs, Irene ran to her love to tell him that they could be together. But Charles rejected her, and Irene's heart was broken. King Charles was the curse's second victim. The mermaids blamed him as the main cause of Irene's tragic fate. Please take it. I didn't kill Erin. If I'm guilty of anything, it's dealing with the Sea Witch. Ten years ago, when the fish disappeared, I turned to the Sea Witch for help. We made a deal, and she said that if I embarked on a great voyage, I could win Neptune over. Our ship sank on the voyage, but everyone was saved, and Neptune took pity on us. But most importantly, I met my love, Erin. I was so in love that I wanted to propose to her. But then, the witch came to me to fulfill my end of our deal. She demanded that I reject Erin, or she would destroy the island. I had no choice. My first duty as a king is to the kingdom. I'll never forgive myself for betraying Erin's heart. Please bring me my wedding ring. I will keep it as a reminder of her and what I've done. What the king did to Arine was terrible, but he did it for the right reasons. I must disenchant him so he can help make things right again. 